The next solution is to make sure that your disks are working properly. And that is done by holding down Command and R and uh, hit the power button. You have to hold that down a little bit. Just keep holding. It takes some time, but you need to access the uh, disk utility in recovery mode. Then you could check the disks. And if there are problems, like the disks need to be repaired, the disk utility mode would do that. There are options and tools that help fix the disks. Yes, you need to wait. Just keep pressing down command and R. Yeah, a new bar is appearing. Okay, and you will get to this. Well, here you select your language and press down or use return. And you here have four options. And we need to select disk utility. Now we have continue and return. Yeah, we're here. And we have Macintosh HD and the other one is OS X base system. We also have here well, look at the cursor and first aid, select first aid. You need to select first aid. This OS X based system. Continue. Now it will check. Yeah, there is no problem with this, uh, with OS X based system. Just done. And go to Macintosh HD, again the same, first aid, look, look at first aid, well, it takes some time. Well, you need to let this be finished. Yes, the check is complete. No serious problem is found. This, you see, no serious problem is found. Uh, you just need to close. If you close this window, you're back to this. And we have here reinstall mac os and the first one restore from time machine backup we will need these actually the next solution would be based on these you would go to apple and restart or press restart the computer would restart normally imagine you did this trying to check the disks and uh, you got the message that everything is fine and you went to the restart but still the computer is not booting up in that case you've got to understand that the problem is more serious than you suspected first and you need perhaps to reinstall OS. But before that, you have files to take care of and you have to transfer your files to the, another computer or hard drive, something. If you need that, uh, actually you should, you should do that because the whole philosophy of uh, doing this is to access your files, uh, actually.
there, there, there are several ways to do it, uh, but I'm not going to talk about them right now. There is one thing that uh, I need to emphasize. Look at this restore from time machine backup. If you have the backup already, you wouldn't probably need to look for a hard drive. You could select restore from time machine backup and continue and then uh, the system would use your backup and uh, your computer would boot up. There's one more thing to consider and that is we have Mac OS and it's zero and if you select this you wouldn't lose if, if it works you wouldn't lose your files either because it would simply erase uh, the previous OS and uh, would create a new one and your files will remain intact so it would be a good idea to do this if you're using uh, a more modern computer then you could select reinstall Mac OS and continue the instruction and you would have a new OS and your computer would uh, finally boot up. I have to talk about file system consistency. If you use the disk utility in recovery mode and it failed and the computer didn't boot up, then it's just worth it to try file system consistency. I will shut down here. File system consistency is another way to check the disks. You need to press down command and S and hit the power button. In order to initiate the checking, you would need to type F S C K and space and a minus sign and if Y and return. The checking is started. It's still checking. It got to the end of the data and it says the volume Macintosh HD appears to be okay.